Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing McCart's Monthly Nail Box. They sent one over and they wanted me to try it. So I'm so excited and let's get into it. All right, so I have absolutely no idea what's in here, but we should open this up. And I would like to clarify that these are mystery boxes, so each month you're just gonna be surprised. Okay, let's see what we got. We have some stickers, some solid nail gel, awesome. We'll, we'll open them after real quick. Is this just filling? Okay, cute, cute. I like that they're not using like a crap ton of filling. Some brands just do that. I think it's wasteful. Nail glue remover, I just bought so much nail glue, so that's hilarious. We have an extension gel, twinkling ballet. It looks like multiple gel polishes. Oh, look at this. So so we have, now this is Jade Droid in Aquatic Gleam. It's looking like, I don't know if these are cat eyes or what, but we'll swatch these real quick. And then the glitter top coat will also swatch. This is super cute. It just looks like press-ons, but these are cute. They might be a little short for me and I don't think we're gonna use them today, but these are good to just have in a pinch. Let's check out these stickers. Uh, sometimes there's more than one sheet in these, so we will find out what's inside. Oh, okay, looks like multiple sheets of stickers are in here. These are cute. So we have some like just rainbow chromey ones, which peep the chrome nails. Ah, oh, these are gonna be perfect for pride coming up. And then we have just kind of some more standard butterflies. Y'all know I have, I have so many butterfly stickers. I could always use more. Put this one in there. Let's open this, our solid nail gel. Oh, and this is a color? Well, I think we might have to take a quick look at this. I've only ever used like clear or like white. That is so pretty. Let's check out the nail glue remover, see what's in here. Ugh, I hate ripping the packaging, but Sometimes they're hard to open. Cool, cool. So I've never used this. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, it comes with some cuticle sticks, probably to like lift up your press-ons and then a spare brush. Oh, I smell, it smells like barbecue and like acetone. Not even, it's just barbecue and chemicals. Let's open up our gels and we can do a little swatching. What is this? Okay, so there is a magnet. So these are cat eye gels, but I'll hang on to this magnet. I wonder if the other one came with a magnet too. And it looks like it did. So for each one of these, you get a magnet, which is really cute. This is Jade Joy. Now let's try the magnet. Again, I am not the best at cat's eye, so we're just gonna figure this out. This next one is Aquatic Gleam. This one I'm gonna do a little bit thicker just to like see and play around with it. Here are the two cat's eyes. Those are really pretty. Oh yeah, like that angle right there. Let me swatch the top coat real quick. I have used this before, but I do want you to just see it. Here is the top coat. I'm hoping it's focusing, but I do like this top coat because even though it has glitter, it's still really smooth. I wanna swatch the poly gel. It's a little hard to squeeze out, but it is a glitter poly gel, so that's to be expected. While I'm carrying that, I will just swatch our solid gel. I don't like the name Glux. I think that's weird. It doesn't come out of my mouth, right? But I think the product itself is great. And usually with these, I like to use like a silicone tool. And here is Twinkling Ballet and Frozen Bluebell. Those are also stupidly pretty. And I kind of want to use those too. All right, now I need to like figure out a design that I have to do. So let me get set up really quickly. I think we're gonna do something along the lines of like a blue set. I'm gonna keep it simple because I just flew back from visiting my family and I've been up since like 5 a.m. and I'm tired, <laughs> but I want my nails done. We're gonna keep it a little simple, try out some new stuff. I am gonna use the 5XL stiletto tips. I am over these nail tips that don't fit me. I want something that is reliable, something that I'm gonna like. So let's size these out real quick. Thank you. 
we have all of these sized out and I'm kind of just trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think for the nail set, I'm gonna use the cat eye gel. I might pull out a different nail glue. I have this Moravon solid builder gel, which is blue. I think it'll kind of work with the theme. I will put a couple on with this and I'll put a couple on with this. Now I've never entirely filled a nail with this. Well, I guess I don't need to. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is getting covered, but I do just wanna make sure that the gel is like, you know, gonna be touching all sides where my nail is gonna be. Now the hard part about this is that it's a solid gel, so you kinda have to push down really hard and then it might squish out. I'm gonna see if I can chop out some of this excess or at least smooth it down. Okay, it's not pretty. I know it's getting covered anyways. For my pointer finger, I'm gonna try to just do the whole nail with this and make it somewhat pretty. Those sirens, there's like crazy sirens outside. I don't know who has the time to die. Um, I know I don't. I don't know how much of this I am gonna need. Now, if only they made this gel in the way that you could like touch it, that would be iconic. Um, but you can't really touch gel. Let's try to get this on. I'm gonna flash clear this one. Clean up the underside. This gel does get hot, I will say, but that is really pretty. All right, let's kind of just alternate for the rest. So I did go visit my family in Florida just cause like Mother's Day is coming up and my mom's birthday is around Mother's Day. Um, and it was really nice just hanging out. That was a lot cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go ahead and cure that. The McCart gel is a little bit softer than the Moravon gel, which I like the texture of like this one. It does do that <laughs> where it will come out of its little jar, but we can just shove it back in. It's a little bit of a, a slower process, just trying to like press it forward, but it's very satisfying. Let's get our last nail on our pinky. These are all on and pretty easy. I'm just not used to like, you know me, I'm a poly gel guy. I'm not using solid builder gel a lot, but these were not that terrible to get on and I need to file and shape them, clean up the cuticles a little bit. So let's do that real quick. I literally saw a wheelchair fight at the Kroger by my house. I was just like grocery shopping because I had no food and there's a lot of homeless in Nashville. And so this one guy, he's always at the Kroger and he has like a wheelchair and he just kind of scoots about and he's going towards the self checkout and then there's this lady in like a motorized cart and she just starts ramming into him. They're like pushing each other and then she like loses control of her little electric cart and hits one of like the displays and then there's like two firefighters trying to break them up. It was so chaotic and I was just like what the what is going on? All right, everything is filed and shaped. So let's put on our cat's eye and I want my magnet a little bit ready. I might need to do a base layer just for those clear parts. This is a pretty similar color to the um, solid nail glue that we used. Love this color, hate the fragrance that this gel polish has. Now let's try our cat eye. I think it'll look a little bit better. All right, let's try to make this look pretty. <laughs> that is super cool. Oh, I love it. Let's do the other ones. And I am using like a thicker layer when I'm doing this. Just for fun, I think we can use our glitter top coat for everything. Loving how the cat's eye is looking, super pretty. And like, it looks good on camera and it looks good off camera too. I was a part of like McCart's old mystery boxes. They kind of have gone through like a rebranding process. Those were fun, but they were a little repetitive. I felt like we were just getting kind of the same stuff. You know, I'm excited to see what happens with the rest of these.
All right, here is the finished look. These are so shiny and sparkly. Really happy with how these turned out. I am also just happy I was able to do kind of a simpler set. And like these together, I feel like are really fun. So final thoughts, really liked the mystery box. The products in there are super fun, super colorful, and I'm happy to add them to my collection. But I'm hoping McCart can kind of keep it, you know, fresh and new. And I think they have enough products to make it not repetitive. So very excited to see what they put out. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.